Hi kids, in this video we will continue with pressure and fluids and atmospheric pressure from class 9 physics. We will discuss Pascal's law, Pascal's law and its application. Now remember what we did in our previous lesson. Suppose this is a container, you know, and you put a certain liquid over here. Whose density, density of the liquid is rho. Then pressure at a point, you know, below the free surface, suppose at a depth h, pressure at this point will be h rho g, where h is the depth from the free surface, rho is the density, and g is acceleration due to gravity. So that is equal to the pressure at that point. Now, suppose we take two point x and y. This is at a depth h1 and ye hai at a depth h2. So what will be pressure at x? Pressure at x will be h1 rho g and what will be pressure at y? h2 rho g. Then the difference in pressure, difference in pressure in pressure py minus px which is h2 minus h1 rho g which means difference in pressure between two points suppose this is del h i'm taking change okay difference depends this this difference in pressure depends on the vertical height between these two point isn't it difference of height which means if somehow if somehow we increase the pressure at x suppose somehow we increase the pressure at x now the difference of pressure between x and y has to be same which means the pressure at y the pressure at y increases by the same amount isn't it because the difference in pressure will be same. Am I clear or not? Because difference in pressure depends upon the vertical height between them. Which is your Pascal's law. Which state that. See, over here what I mean. The increase in pressure at x was transmitted equally to the point y. Isn't it? Whatever increase in pressure is here. The same increase in pressure happens over here also, which gives rise to Pascal's law, which states that pressure exerted, pressure exerted anywhere, anywhere in a confined liquid, confined liquid is transmitted, transmitted equally equally and undiminished undiminished in all direction in all direction throughout the liquid that is your throughout the liquid yahi hai hamara pascal's law am i clear chali we'll do an experiment to show pascal's law now look at this. Suppose we take a flask like this. We take a flask like this, which has got some side tube like this. No? Suppose till here. Okay. Now, we will place a side tube. At the bottom also, suppose, there is a tube like this. Look carefully. Okay. At the side and at the bottom, we have openings like this, a tube is like this. Fill it with water, suppose till this height 
till this height we have filled with water now the height will be same in all the tubes because water seeks its own level okay now we keep a piston over here an air tight piston ye ek piston hai air tight piston now the height of the water level was this so what do you do you press this piston down you are applying some pressure you press this piston down then you see that the water comes out of this tubes of these three tubes water comes out and when it comes out then the level of water the height of water reached in all the three cases will be same whether it's this tube this tube or this tube the water jet which is coming out rises to the same height rises to the same height suppose this is h this is h this is h the height is same which means pressure when pressure is exerted in an enclosed liquid the pressure is transmitted equally and undiminished in all direction throughout the liquid वही था मेरा पास्कल लॉ आई क्लियर नो लेट एस सी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पास्कल लॉ लुक ओवर यू वेन टॉक अबाउट हाइड्रोलिक मशीन लाइक हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक्स दे आर ऑल बेस्ड ऑन पास्कल लॉ वॉट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक मशीन सिंपल लुक ओवर यू द वेन अ स्मॉल फोर्स when a small force is applied on a smaller smaller piston piston when a small force is applied on a smaller piston it is transmitted it is transmitted as a larger force as a larger force on the larger piston bigger piston which means hydraulic machine what it is doing it is multiplying the force aap ek small force ne laga rahe ho but resultant jo hai jo outcome hai wo aapka ek large force hai which means it acts as a force multiplier abhi hota kaise hai dekhte hain suppose we take two cylindrical vessel okay which are connected to each other one is a smaller vessel the other is a larger vessel they are connected with a tube look carefully so they are connected with a tube suppose this has a cross section area of a1 and this has a area of A two, of course, A one is less than A two because the diameter of this cylindrical flask is less as compared to this one. Now look carefully. We we fill liquid till here. Suppose we fill water till this height. In both the vessel, the height will be same. Okay. Suppose this is your piston, airtight piston. This is again an airtight piston over here. Now look carefully. Suppose we place a weight W over here on this piston. Then what will happen? There will be a force F one. Suppose. Acting vertically downward, isn't it? So over here, the pressure developed P one will be F one by A one. Pressure is what thrust by area. Am I clear? Now this pressure is transmitted equally at this point 
at this cylindrical uh, body, isn't it? So there will be a upward force F2 which will push this piston up due to the pressure P2. So over here P2 kya hoga? P2 hoga F2 by A2, isn't it? Pressure will be transmitted from here to here. And P2 will be F2 by A2. Suppose there is a force F2 which acts on this piston. Now Pascal law states that these two pressure will be same. So can I write P1 equals to P2 which means F1 by A1 is equal to F2 by A2. Now look carefully. So what is F2? F2 will be F1 into A2 by A1. Isn't it? Now, A2 by A1. So, A2 is greater than A1. A2 is greater than A1. Which means F2 will be definitely greater than F1. Am I clear or not? So, what is happening? The force over here was F1. It is getting multiplied. F2 is bigger as compared to F1. Am I clear or not? So, here is the force jo hai, wo multiply. If you have a small force, it will be magnified. So, this is the principle of hydraulic machine. When a force, small force, F1 is small, is applied on a smaller area, you know, this is transmitted as a larger force on a larger area. Am I clear? So this was your application of Pascal's law, which we see in hydraulic machine. So <coughs> in this video, keep it till here. In the next video, we'll do numericals based on this. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe the channel and share with your friends.